Well, the Colts interviews were awesome. What did you think about them, Anthony? I thought they were awesome, too. Well, next up will be the New Orleans Saints. Dun, da, da, da. I'm going to try to get an interview with Reggie Bush today, and I hope I get successful. There he is. <laughs> He's here. Hey, Reggie. Would you rather be getting a ring from Kim Kardashian or Roger Cadell? <laughs> well, um, I think it would be a little backwards if I was getting a ring from her. So I'd rather get the ring from Roger Cadell. Could you give some advice to the students at my school? I'm sorry? Could you give some advice to the students at my school? Um, yeah, you know, I would, I would say, uh, you know, when I was in school, you know, the, the most important thing that I was always taught is that education comes first. And, um, you know, my parents made sure that I always got my education, made sure I was always on time with my homework, my books, my, my tests. And, um, you know, for all the kids who want to play sports, you can do that, it's great. And I, I advise you know, everybody to, to go out and play sports, but always remember that education is something that nobody can ever take away from you. I'm here with Troy Evans and he's a linebacker for the New Orleans Saints. What is it like playing linebacker for New Orleans? Uh, it's a blast. Uh, we have the best fans in the world, so game day is really exciting. It's been a lot of fun. What is it like having Little Wayne coming from your town? <laughs> Little Wayne, huh? uh, it's been fun. We actually went down to uh, Holly Grove where he's from earlier this year and uh, helped out with some of the community stuff and everybody was talking about Little Wayne. It's really cool. What do you, how do you think the Super Bowl is going to go? Uh, you know, I know we're going to be ready to play. We're going to play well and we're going to play hard. So as far as everything else, we'll see. Can you give some advice to the students at my school, please? Students at your school, how old are you? Eleven. Eleven. What grade are you in? Six. Sixth grade. Are you smart? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> you sound smart. Uh, I can tell the students in your school to act like you because you're doing your thing. I'm, I'm going to try to interview Marcus Costin. He's a wide receiver for the Saints. How does it, uh, how does it feel to play in the Super Bowl? I mean, it feels really good. Um, you know, it's something that you know, I've been dreaming about since I was your age, and uh, just to be here is really a blessing. Can you give some advice to the students at my school? Just uh, continue to work hard and, and uh, definitely work hard in the classroom and, you know, just continue to dream and, and go achieve your dreams. I'm here with Jason Cowell, and he's a linebacker for the New Orleans Saints. What is it like playing linebacker for the New Orleans Saints? It's, uh, it's a lot of hard work, but a lot of fun. Get to tackle people. What is it like playing for the city that New or Little city Wayne grew up in? Well, it's, uh, it's great. Fans there are real excited all the time when we, when we uh, play. They're loud. One of the loudest places I've played. You been to a game? Yes. Yeah? I've been to the Pro Bowl. Oh, you have? All right. Well, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, uh, it's tough to hear yourself think. Those fans get pretty rowdy. Can you give some advice to the students at my school? Yeah, well, I'll tell you, I wouldn't be here unless um, I went to school every day, got good grades, the high school, college, and the whole thing. Otherwise, I don't know what I'd be doing, but I'm glad I did. I'm with Zach. How did you get so big? How did, my mom tells me it's good Italian cooking, but that's just what she told me. Well, she did, because you're a giant. I'm a giant? Yes, I feel like a tiny ant. You're not a tiny ant. You got time to go, right? You're probably not old enough yet. How does it feel to play in the Super Bowl? Uh, it's awesome. It's really exciting. Are you excited to watch the Super Bowl? Yeah. I'm about that excited to play in it. So it's it's really cool. Can you give some advice to the students at my school? Yeah, absolutely. School is the most important thing in the world. It's important to work hard. Uh, you know, go to bed on time, listen to your teachers and your parents, eat right, get plenty of exercise. That's the advice I'd give everyone at your school. Team, period. Best of luck, Blue. Thank you. Can I interview you? Yeah. What's up, man? What's your, what's your first name? Randall. Oh, Randall Bay. Oh, that's it. I remember you. <laughs> I'm here with Randall Gay, and he's a defensive player for the New Orleans Saints. What's it like playing defense for the New Orleans Saints? 
Oh man, we get after it, man. It, it's, it's good. It's, it's fun because we all having fun running around trying to take everybody out. So you will love it. In high school, did kids give you a hard time with the last name of Gay? Not in high school. By then, you know, I got a, I was a little popular, so they didn't. But elementary school, oh yeah, that was tough. But you know, you you ignore it. I wasn't that big, so it was it was hard. But you, they grew out of it. What do you think? How do you think the Super Bowl is going to go Sunday? What do you think? And then I'll tell you. Who you going for? I'm a journalist. So I should stay neutral. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Good answer, but. Uh, I think we're gonna win. So, what do you think? If you had, if you weren't a journalist, what do you think? The Saints. All right, that's a good answer. <laughs> Can you give some advice to the students at my school? Study hard, work hard. School is very important because without it, you can't get anywhere. Thanks. Here's my business card. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm going to try to score an interview with Jonathan Vilma and he plays linebacker for the New Orleans Saints. Let's see how it goes. Jonathan. My PE coach is kind of mad because you left the New York Jets. What do you have to say about that? My PE coach is kind of mad because you left the New York Jets. What do you have to say about that? Uh, tell them I have no control over that. Tell them that uh, they're the ones that let me go and they want me back. They can come get me. What can you tell me? What can you tell me about the NFL Super Bowl? The Super Bowl? I mean, it's uh, the biggest game of the year. It's uh, probably the most watched game uh, aside from the World Cup. And uh, you know, it's a big game. It's a lot of fun. Who you think is going to win? Come on now. <laughs> I can't say the Colts, you know, I'm with the Saints. Can you give some advice to the students at my school? Uh, you know, I tell them to go out there, first things first is always school, education. You know, you, you can't take away what you have in your head. And uh, everything else, you know, go after it 100%. Right now, I'm going to try to score an interview with Jabari Gray, and he's a very good cornerback for the New Orleans Saints. What is it like playing for the city that Lil Wayne grew up in? <laughs> um, I mean, there's a lot of successful people that were from New Orleans. Uh, Louis Armstrong. Uh, man, I wish I could name someone. Um, but I, like I said, there's a lot of successful people from New Orleans. Um, and in that city, it's like it's like another city in, in the world. Um, the culture and the music and the food. It's a special shit. So being able to be there and being to, to be a part of that and to see that, to experience that is special. Um, so I mean it's a great, it's a great place. How do you think the Super Bowl is gonna go? It's gonna go good. It's gonna go good. Can you give some advice to the students at my school? We yeah, uh, um, work hard. I mean, I was always, you know, one of the smallest guys to play. Had a lot of things going against me. But one thing I always have is faith and a belief that I had an opportunity to make plays, that, that, that I could do it. So, I mean, continue to do what you believe in, work hard, and realize that through patience, through perseverance, you can make anything happen. In school, did kids make fun of you for being short? Oh, of course, to be short. <laughs> being short, being small. Yeah, I mean, it happens. It happens. How did you handle it? Because I'm the same way. Oh, I mean... You have, to have, you have to have faith in yourself. You have to have more faith in yourself than they have in you. So once you have more faith in yourself, you just want to say, you know, it doesn't matter because I believe in me. I mean, that's the most important thing. Thanks. Thank you. This is my business card. All right, thank you, man. You're welcome.